Hi, Terry here again. Um, it's toward the end of July in 2020, and I've been trying to work on different things and focus on things, but I keep being drawn back to tomorrow. Tomorrow is Anita and my 50th wedding anniversary. Hard to believe, 50 years. I've been thinking about that, what our life has been like, where to from here, and we've been married for 50 years, but we probably met in little country church nursery. So that means we met actually 70 years ago. Um, I, there was no time before which Anita was not, kind of a theological type term. But she was always at least in the periphery and then later on central to my life. And I've been thinking about our 50 years what the phases were, how, what we've gone through. And I'm such a develop, developmental critter that um, I think in terms of phases, phases of maturing, of, of struggling through different things. Now recognize that the first 10 years of our marriage were probably defined best by struggle. Struggle financially, struggling with our relationship, she came from a different style of relating to people than I did, um, struggling with the finances, struggling to finish up our college educations, just struggle. I remember I used to semi-kiddingly um, ask people that, ask couples that I was working with in premarital counseling toward the end of that time, whether they'd like to make an appointment with me for marital counseling somewhere around seven, eight years it's a traditional seven-year itch. And it was semi-kidding um, because I recognize that those early years of marriage can be tough. A lot of couples don't make it through the seven to ten years. And Anita and I really did struggle with that. And finally, after ten years, we kind of settled into our careers and decided what our trajectory was going to be. And then in the next 25 years, we were definitely career-driven. We moved a few times between Michigan and California. We took different positions. We continued with our seminars. Anita's, Anita went to law school actually twice, once for her regular law degree and once for a postdoctorate for that. And we were um, dinks. We were called at that time dual income, no kids. It was long hours. We'd kiddingly say, we need to go to bed so we can get up and do it again. <laughs> long hours, some um, weekends. Um, Anita did evening seminars that she taught as well as being in the office all day. And we were driven. We vacationed hard. We'd go to Hawaii regularly or go on a cruise or whatever. But those were challenging years by our own decision. We kept pressing to the maximum, probably to overstress. So 25 years of that. And then the last 15 years were different as well. 15 years of the 50. That was after I retired early in my mid-50s. And Anita continued working mostly full-time. And as she was working full-time and I was after career, I became the house husband, the cook. And I was a student finishing up a doctorate and writing a dissertation. I, I wrote a lot of stuff, did some teaching, took some part-time positions. But that was another phase for the last 15 years, um, adjusting to, to that time in our life where Anita's job was the career, was the determining factor for much of that. And it was my task to, first of all, support her and then go on and experience life post-career for myself. And now we're asking where to from here. Anita will probably retire from full-time career life in the next year or two. That will change the dynamics of our relationship. We've settled back into Southern California from Michigan. So we're settling in here and finding some rhythm here. But one of the key factors that we we understand is that um, we fully expect our marriage to continue developing as our lives continue developing. We don't think of ourselves as having a mature marriage 
even after five years, we think of ourselves as having a maturing marriage. There's more to come. There are more stages to experience as each one of us experiences stages of development. Um, a maturing marriage. After 50 years, after in many senses settling in, but in other senses hopefully never settling in. You see, we consider ourselves to be in process yet, and we are both amazingly confident that the best is yet to come. In our marriage, in our lives, the best is yet to come. Can't wait for the next years, maybe decades, depending how much life we're given together, but we are looking forward to it. And we're looking forward to continue growing, developing, finding new purpose and meaning. Ah, the best is yet to come. Have a great week.